Okay, as we head into summer in the short future, that is, more people are making their outdoors and into the canyons. However, the Utah County Sheriff's Office is asking for one area in Provo Canyon to be avoided because of remaining debris from an avalanche. It was for Zeneca Johns joining us live from Bridevale Falls tonight with more on what officials are saying about the dangers in that area. Annika. Yeah, as you can see behind me, there is still debris left over from the avalanche that we saw earlier this year. We can see that the falls are flowing underneath the debris, and while a majority of the area may look like solid dirt and branches, the debris is more snow and ice than anything else. The water in the Provo River is moving fast, and with the warmer summer months ahead of us and snow still remaining in the mountains, unstable areas have been asked by officials to be avoided. One such area is up Provo Canyon, a popular destination called Bridal Veil Falls. Back in January, there was a large avalanche that came down over Bridal Veil Falls, and it put a huge snow deposit in it, came all the way out across the road over here. Despite being months since the initial avalanche, much of the debris, snow and ice remains and is becoming increasingly dangerous. It melts from the top down, but it also melts from the bottom up. The problem is, is you may be standing on this avalanche deposit thinking that you're on 15 feet of snow, and in reality, you may be on two or three inches of snow or ice, and if that breaks through, you might fall a foot or two, or you might fall 15 or 20 feet. Cannon continued saying that despite the area being closed, and unsafe, people are visiting anyway and climbing on the debris. If you come up here and something happens and you were to fall through that snow, either onto rocks and get injured or into the river and drown, all the regret in the world can't change the decision you've made once that tragic incident has happened. The Sheriff's Department says they're not going to monitor the area heavily, but hope that people will be smart about what they decide to do in the area. We're relying on people's good senses to think, you know what, I'd really like to go here, but I'm going to have to make other plans today, and uh, this can't be included in those plans. Cannon does say that if you want to visit the area, there are other safe options to see the falls. There's an overlook uh, view area parking lot that's right off of Highway 189 up above here, and you can get a really good bird's eye view of, of what the area is down here. That parking lot Sergeant Cannon mentioned is where I'm standing right now. And as you can see, it does have that great view that gives you that bird's eye perspective. He also said that there are plenty of other waterfalls and landmarks up Provo Canyon if you're still interested in coming up and seeing and getting up close to something. Reporting live from Bridal Veil Falls, Annika Johns, ABC4 News.